Hello boys and girls, welcome back to your math lesson. I am Miss Moran, and today we're gonna continue with sorting. Okay, we're gonna look at objects, characteristics, and decide in which group they go according to how they look. Today we're gonna be combining math and science. We're gonna be talking about something that you already learned in science that I'm sure that Miss Nix already teach you, but she teach it to you in Spanish, and I'm gonna review it with you in English because today, we're gonna be sorting living and non-living things. And what that means in Spanish, uh, we're gonna be sorting cosas que seres vivos y seres no vivos. Vivos, it's living, and no vivos is non-living. So voy a repasar eso in English. So we're gonna go over it in English, so that way, or today sort, you're gonna be sorting between things that are living and things that are non-living. So let me show you that picture real quick. Okay, so this is something you already learned in science in Spanish, but today I'm going to review it with you in English. So up here we have living things. Living things eat, they grow, they reproduce. Reproduce means that they can have babies, or if they're plants, they can uh, produce seed who, that will then become a plant. And they also need to breathe, okay? A boy is a living thing, a flower is a living thing, a tree a crab, a fish, a whale, birds. Those are all living things. Or in Spanish, living things is seres vivos. Non-living things, non-living things do not, do not eat. They do not grow. They do not reproduce. That means they can't have babies or they can't make seeds. And they do not need to breathe. So non-living things in Spanish is seres no vivos o inertes. And some examples of non-living things are a shirt, a pizza, a kite, a pencil, or a book. Those things do not grow, they don't need to eat, they don't have babies, they can't breathe. So those are non-living things, okay? So I found a video about um, Cookie Monster. He's also uh, wants to review with you what a living thing is. So we're gonna look at that video and then I'll show you your activity for today. Let me show you that video. And this big fella here is Rock. Yeah, hi Rock. We're here to ask intriguing scientific question. Which one of us is alive? Me or Rock? Yeah, let's find out. With help from this sign, prepared by the good folks at the What's Alive Institute. Okay, sign says... It is alive if, number one, it grows, number two, it breathes, number three, it eats. Yeah, okay, let's start with number one. Yeah, it is alive if, what did you get? Oh, yeah, yeah, it grows. Yeah, well, me happen to have photo of when me was little baby cookie monster. Oh, me so cute, yeah. Ha, ha, ha. But now. Me bigger, ergo, me grew. Yeah. Okay, how about you, Rock? You got photo? Me take anything, driver's license, passport, what, whatever. No. Okay. Number two. It is alive if it breathes. Yeah. Ready, listen to this. <gasps> ah. <gasps> ah. Cookie monster. Definitely breathing. Yeah. How about rock? Let's listen. Okay, no. Rock? No. Rock. Rock. No breathing. Yeah. Not looking too good for rock here. Okay. Let's look at this. Okay. It's alive as it eats. Yeah. Ah. Uh, what do we have around here to eat? Oh, ha, ha, ha. Cookies. Yeah. Sure that rock not alive, but cookie monster grow, 
Okay, so that was the Cookie Monster video. And now, um, let's go over your homework. Let's see here. So, um, over here it says living, and over here it says non-living. And I put it in Spanish here to help you out. So, living in Spanish means vivo, and non-living means no vivo. On this side, we're, side, we're going to put all our living objects or living things, and then this side, non-living things. Remember, it is living thing if it eats, reproduces, or if it breathes, okay? So, and we saw this example in the Cookie Monster video. Does a, is a rock a living thing or a non-living thing? What do you think it is? We learned from the video that Cookie Monster showed us that the rock is non-living, okay? Now the tree, is it a living or non-living? Remember, in order to be a living thing, you have to eat, grow, reproduce, okay, so the tree, yes, the, the tree eats nutrients from the ground, and it grows, and it reproduces in that it makes seeds, and those seeds later become plants, so that will be a living thing, okay, so your living things will be on this side, and your non-living things will be on this side, okay, so this is a good review for what you learn in science, and you're combining it with math, because you're sorting, so I hope you like this homework. And before I let you go, we're gonna review what we learned today. Okay, so today for math, uh, we reviewed what sorting is. We put things into groups, but we also reviewed a little bit of science. We put uh, the groups that we came up with are either living or non-living things, right? So those things that did eat, reproduce, or breathe, we put it in the living uh, things side and the things that are non-living that do not eat, do not breathe, do not reproduce, we put it on the non-living side. Okay? Well, I hope you enjoyed this lesson and of course all of this is to learn how to identify things when they're alike or different, when they're the same or different, right? This helps us out. It helps us out in math, in science, and in real life it helps us out. So it's very important to learn about sorting, all right? Well, I hope uh, you enjoyed this lesson and your activity and the little video that I put out, the Cookie Monster video. And I will see you tomorrow. We will continue learning about sorting. And I think I have another Cookie Monster video that I'm going to show you. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.